So today I am going to change out the rear tire on my 890 Adventure R using the Rabaconda Street Tire Changer. Um, and we'll do it in pretty much real time and just let you see how it goes. So I'm going to deflate the tire. By just removing the valve stem. We've got our new tire warming up in the sun, and we are going to just clean make sure your rim is really clean this uh, Rabaconda tire changer is not going to mar or scuff the rim but it pays to keep it really clean I just washed the bike it's not perfect so I'm gonna start on this side spray it down with a little bit of lube wheel on the tire changer and install the little piece that kind of keeps things centered. Now on this part you want to make sure you've got your uh, sliders at least touching the tire if not the rim so that keeps everything off of the frame and keeps from marring your rim as you roll things around. So at this point I'm going to put the I don't have the tire pressure monitoring system, but I'm going to put that um, valve away from where I'm going to break the bead. So at this point, get your bead breaker, set your height correct, and we'll see how we do. Turn it around. Perfect. Move it up lightly. Let's keep this where we can line through it. This helps to get things off. This is a little diluted Nomar bead grease. All right, so bead is off. Next step is to get the duck head on. So I'm gonna put this here. Right there, other way. And get this adjusted the right length and over the bead of the rim. So get the duck head on, get it adjusted. So for this, you want to go ahead and use the bead breaker on top, positioning the duck head 180 degrees opposite. You're going to use the bead breaker to keep the rim in the drop center, Keep the, sorry, keep the bead in the drop center while we get the lever and bring that bead over the rim. So using the lever on the duck head part right here, get that on there. And I'm gonna use the bead breaker to push the bead into the drop center and then just pull this over. Pretty easy. There's a little holder behind here to put the tire lever into. And then just take this out. Put it here and standing on this side of the unit. Ooh, there's one more important thing we got to do. No one's going to forget that, but it was important not to do it till now. You've got to use this little strap to keep things from sliding. So I'm going to find a spoke to grab with this. I knew I was going to forget something. That was it. This is what you've got to use 
on spoked wheels to keep the wheel from rotating oh, while you take it off. And this comes off pretty quickly there. Just work your way around. Now, sometimes that other beat will just come off. I'm just going to move this, see what happens. Yeah, I think I'll use the back head. So just take the tire iron and come and grab this other bead like that and go like that and go like that and then once again it comes off fairly quickly avoid scratching your rim And that's just going to take the little bead right off. All right, quick. So the old tire's off. Just took a couple of minutes. And I'm just going to take a rag and give that a quick look and a quick wipe. And that is all there is to that. So a new tire comes in. And let's see, sprockets out here. Tire rotates this way. And I don't see, yeah, double check. Disc is on the right, sprockets on the left. Tire is gonna rotate this way. Direction goes this way. Michelin often don't have a dot. I don't see a dot of balance dot on there. They're made to good standards. So Michelin don't often have a dot. So what we're gonna do is get into some beet grease here. This is super important to have this nice and moved up. Whatever your bead grease of choice is, just to minimize the strain when you put that on. This way. Get a good amount on there. All right. Always want to have enough lube. Never know what sort of problems we'll have if you don't. So the first bead will often just go on. <clears throat> So I'm just going to get here and just push in and so on. And we don't have anything to line up in terms of a balance point. So sprocket on the left, rotation point, disc on the right. Make sure we're good. What you need to do at this point is put the duck head on, which I probably could have left on. And get it up here the top this time I'm gonna wish I just left that on there aren't I would you hold that tire up I wish I left that on. And you start by putting the bead on all the way best you can. This time, 
putting the bead over so the duck head is showing. Like that. And then you want to put the bead on as much as you can. Just like that. Oops. Now, what I do here is put the drop center tools on. And that really helps hold the tire where you want it on the rim. I use both of those. So that's going to keep the bead in the drop center as you work the duck head around, avoiding unnecessary strain on the bead and unnecessary difficulty. And the only other thing is, if you have a dot on your tire for balance, you want to put it near, you know, maybe it's the uh, rim lock or maybe it's the valve stem. I've noticed that as I rotate this on, sometimes the tire will rotate on the rim. But if I pay attention, and just like hold the tire with my hand and keep an index kind of where the rim is, I've kept it from rotating. So we're all set. A couple uh, drop center tools in place beads on as far as we can make it and the whole duck head is showing I'm just going to drive this this is where a good amount of bead grease comes in handy very important and it's on now that's pretty much all there is to it minimal sweating a little bit it's a warm day Clean this, take off this little spacer, wheel comes off, oh, once again, the strap, <laughs> the strap, remove the strap, now would be a good time to take the strap off, and now the wheel will come right off, well there you go, start to finish, with all the foibles that go with that, doesn't take too long. So now, all we're gonna do is put the valve stem back in and inflate it. You wanna fire up the compressor? Just show this start to finish. I'm gonna drop this in here. And we're gonna see if we can just seat that bead like that. Good to go? Yep. There's one, there's two. The only thing left to do is balance it. And that is just a few minutes. Removing and replacing a rear tire with the Rabiconda Street Tire Changer. Um, a lot easier than wrestling around on the ground with wrenches and uh, tire irons and all that. Pretty slick. Say that again. 